while I am reading, I want you to be thinking about what text structure, text structure, something that is a way that our author writes a story, what do you think we might be talking about? What might we be talking about? So this is lion versus tiger. So the fighters, the king of beast and the stealthy slayer. Weighing in at about 500 pounds and measuring almost eight feet long is the lion. The big hairy cat comes from the grasslands of Africa. There is often, uh, there it is often called the king of beasts. Animals outside of its prey dare not trespass in its territory. So then it tells you the lion's size, then the average human height, and then it tells you kind of where you might find them. Weighing in at almost 700 pounds and measuring over 10 feet long is the Siberian tiger. This large striped cat comes from forest in Eastern Russia. There, its nickname could be the Stealthy Slayer. With its camouflage coat, it creeps around after prey before it pounces suddenly. And then it does the same thing. We have the picture of the cat and then compared to a human and then where they're found. The matchup, pack animal, lone stalker. Both fighters have a feline appearance, but each cat still has a unique look. The lion sports a thick manly mane. This hides its neck and makes its head seem huge. The tiger grows less facial hair, but has a bulkier body. It stands a little lower to the ground. Hmm. And then we're kind of looking at, here's the physical appearance of the lion. Here's the physical appearance of the tiger. We're kind of doing something that starts with a C. Think about that text structure. Oh, hold on, I'm not gonna ask you yet, hold on. Both fighters have sharp, retractable claws to use as weapons. The cats also have padded paws that cushion and quiet their movements. The tiger boasts the larger paws and larger claws. But in terms of grip strength, the lion and the tiger are comparable. Each cat can dig in and hold on. And then it shows you kind of the difference of the length of their claws and then their paws. Both fighters like to show their teeth during battle. Each cat has a total of 30 teeth that make it a dangerous carnivore. Some teeth grip, some rip or tear and some cut. The tiger bites harder than the lion. Its teeth are also a little longer. And then it shows you their jaws. Both fighters are skilled in the area of pursuit. They secretly follow and then briefly chase their prey. The lion can sprint up to 50 miles per hour. The, this speed makes it faster than the tiger on land. In water, the tiger is the better swimmer. And then it tells you their sprint speed. The fight. Late in the day is the fight time for the lion and the tiger. This is when both cats prefer to be most active because of cooler temperatures. To brawl, the fighters meet in an open grassland bordered by forest. This location gives them space to run and spots to hide. The lion gets loud, get, lets out a loud roar to display its confidence. The tiger snarls right back. The cats keep up this noisy sprawl for a while. The lion becomes violent. It swipes the tiger with a paw, but the tiger raises up on its back legs to dodge the hit, the side swipe. The tiger reaches for the lion's neck. It tries to get a strong hold, but ends up only pulling the lion's hair. The lion breaks free. Then the lion pounces on the tiger. The cats wrestle on the ground. 
After much rolling around, they reached the edge of the forest, the cat, the throat clan. Now the, target, the tiger darts behind a tree. It waits there for the right moment to pop out and pin the lion. Once the lion is trapped, the tiger makes a move to crawl its the to prove it's the stronger cat. It opens its jaw wide and bites down on the liger's, tiger's, the lion's throat. The winner. And then there's your glossary and your index. And that's all. All right. So I want you to think about, so throughout this whole book, it was doing something. What was it doing? Throughout this whole book, it was doing something. What was it doing? Bianca, what was the book doing throughout this whole book? Mostly like comparing them and then like contrasting them. Mm -hmm. So that is the big text structure that we're gonna talk about today. And that's what this book does really well. This book compares and contrasts, which is what we're gonna be working on, the two fighters, the tiger and the lion, okay? And it kind of tells you the similarities and the differences between both of them. So that is something that, especially for nonfiction, you're not gonna see it as much in fiction, but for nonfiction, for informational, sorry, not nonfiction, for informational, you're gonna see a lot of compare and contrast. You're gonna see a lot of authors that will take two things and they will compare them and tell you the similarities and the differences. So, 